Dr. Mix presents The Commodore 64 Synthesizer Surprise! What? <laughs> So let me explain what this project is all about. I've got this beautiful Commodore 64 that I got on eBay. Now, I used to have a Commodore 64. I sold it because, of course, technology advanced, but I always kept it in my heart. So now that I can, I bought it again, and my plan is to build a synthesizer out of this machine. But not just like anything I've seen online, I really want to do it nice looking and I want it to sound amazing. So the first step is, hey, I have to make sure it works. I've got my video sphere right there. I've connected everything. Let's see if this works. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, it works. Awesomeness! La da 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 da. Hi, and welcome to Doctor Mix. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, syntax error. You don't know what to do with this. Now, the second thing I want to make sure is that the SID works. The SID is the chip inside of it that contains a pretty awesome synthesizer. In order to do that, I got myself this synth card. So this transforms the Commodore 64 into a ready-to-use synthesizer. Let's see if it works. All right, so turn it off, slot it in, turn it on. All right, ooh, look at that. All right, let's try and see if it makes any sound. Ooh. So it says that these are the octaves. All right, here you can change sounds. <laughs> you see what I mean? The sound is super cool. I love it. And it's got three voices. So, and they are quite flexible. Can you hear in actual facts that the oscillators keep on going? So it's, it doesn't really cut the sound completely. You can hear the voices still going underneath. You see? But hey, this is exactly the point. I want to work on this machine and make it sound better than ever. Wow. All right. So, one problem at a time. Now, I want to make sure that the um, video capture works nicely because I'm going to be doing some work on this Commodore 64. Can you see there are those vertical lines? I'm not sure if you can see them. You know, let me, let me try and zoom on them. 
Can you see those vertical lines? You can't really see those vertical lines. In, in any case, the one thing I know by reading around is that in order to eliminate those stripes, you have to install this guy. This is called Lumafix 64. And I'm gonna try and do it right now. Turn around my Commodore 64, screwdriver, remove this guy, this guy, and this guy. All right, keep the screws somewhere safe, and voila! All right, now we got access to the guts of this machine. Now for the Commodore 64 heads, I am going to specify that this is a 250407 Revision A board which I understand is one of the most common. One of the reasons why I got this machine is because I saw on eBay the inside picture of it and it looked quite clean and I liked that all of the chips were um, socketed. So these are easy to remove if I need to. Now, this bit here should go right there inside of this metal box. All right, let's try and open it, see if I can do it. All right, delicately now, like this. Is that how it's done? I'm sure some people are cringing right now while I do this. You know what? I don't really want to break this. I have been told that all you need is this Lego tool. And uh, if I do it correctly, I can push it here, uh, let's see, uh-huh, uh-huh, and there you go, now I need to remove this guy, I should have the correct tool, this is the tool, so I grab it here, and gently, set gently, pull it out, Gently, Claudio. Yes! This should be going uh, this direction, I believe. Yes. Let's gently push it down, then. I said gently. Gently push it down. Yes. Yes. Yes, we take this guy and put it there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, baby. Okay, let's try it. A few moments later. As you can see here, there are a lot of bad looking stripes and uh, we're gonna try and correct that now by acting on the small trimmers, yeah? Okay, let's see what difference it makes. Awesome, no difference at all. Let's try with this one. No difference at all. How about this one? Oh, maybe this is making a difference. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, so this does make a difference. Let's see here. Oh, oh wow! Oh wow! Wow! Well, this is much, 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 much better! This is it! Done! Voila! Victory! Do not miss the next episode of the Dr. Mix Commodore 64 synthesizer. Subscribe now. Click in the middle of the screen. That's right. Good.